Hello, my name is Ashtray Benley, and today I'm going to show you how to process samples in Vital. Now, treating Vital like a sampler has been very useful for me lately to create more experimental sounds and use effects in ways that I don't normally think to. Vital has a really great UI and workflow, so using it like a sampler ends up helping me create new fresh sounds. So to start, one cool thing I like to use is perk loops. So percussion loops like hi-hat loops or uh, any sort of percussion and then throw it in the sampler oscillator, pitch it around, and then you can kind of get these asynchronistic rhythms. Right? So as you pitch it around, Super cool. And on top of this, there's these four features right here. The keys mean it pitches with each note. So if you play different frequencies, it'll play sample faster or slower and pitch it accordingly to, you know, 12 octaves, as you can see. Here, I'll show you. And then also this is a randomizer, so it selects a random part of the sample to begin playing from. A great way to come up with different rhythms and loops just randomly through the randomization feature. And then uh, right here, this is a forward backwards. So if it played all the way through, it would start playing in reverse. And then this is a loop function. So it would just start from the beginning and play through. Yeah, you can get a lot of different cool results. Here's a different example. It's a really cool way to get unique rhythms and kind of process things differently than you normally would. So onto my next example, claps or hits or, or uh, snares right here. I have this and then I put it in vital. I got this really cool sort of, I guess, kind of metallic sounding uh, effect on top. And this is where it gets really interesting, in my opinion, because you can use all the effects that vital has to offer and process drums there. Like I said, if you're super acquainted with the workflow, you can come up with some really cool effects. And there's a few things you can do otherwise, like using the macro knobs and controlling and basically writing your automations in Vital with LFO. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. I have the clap and then I'm, I'm running it through a comb filter, giving it that metallic. And then right here, I have this delay routed in LFO to the frequency of it. It's really cool, it's just, it's more dynamic, it makes it feel more alive when you automate things like that. And you know, you could just sit here all day and record out a bunch of different hits and then you have an evolving unique drum sound, you know? Another trick that you can use it for is melodies. So right here in this example, I just threw a melody in the sampler oscillator and I'm using that random start feature. So basically I picked out a rhythm And then this thing is just randomly selecting different parts of the sample to start playing. So if I recorded this out, eventually I could get a really cool melody or chord progression, however you end up using it. And it sounds really unique. And I mean, there's just so many knobs you can play with in Vital and come up with unique stuff. One of my favorite features is all the effects are just super neatly organized in the effects matrix. So you can just instantly start messing with those. Um, yeah. Everyone has the same tools. It just comes down to how you use them and it, use them in different ways to come up with unique sounds. And hopefully this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.